what y'all wanna do? Wanna be Epstein, sex fiends, raided by the police. What about the Benjamins, babe? Uh-huh. What's up guys, boy, Benny. We told you that the years 2020 to 2023 were the F around years. And 2024 would be the find out year. And little did we know how right we were. The images on your screen is not law and order, not NCIS. This man getting arrested is being dragged out in handcuffs from Sean Combs house, otherwise known as P. Diddy or Diddy the rapper, who has had multiple homes raided right now in LA and in Miami by land, sea, and boat by the Department of Homeland Security based on allegations of sex trafficking. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. Diddy's homes in LA and Miami are rated as part of Homeland Security sex trafficking probe after mounting lawsuits. Diddy, who is 54, facing mounting sexual misconduct lawsuits, agents descended on his home in Miami, Star Island, and LA Humbly Hills, these are the massive mansions that P. Diddy owns in these hills because, of course, America is a systemically racist country uh, that is just horrible uh, for people from Diddy's background. Homeland Security agents have descended upon rapper Diddy's home in Los Angeles and Miami as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. The rapper, who is facing mounting sexual uh, lawsuits, combed through his properties on Monday afternoon. At least two men believed to be the rapper's sons were put in handcuffs and dragged out of his properties. You can see that right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely shocking. It's ripping up uh, the internet right now. Department of Homeland Security told the Daily Mail in a statement, earlier today, Homeland Security investigation, New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance uh, from Homeland Security, La Los Angeles, Miami, our local partners. I'll provide further information as it becomes available. Representative for Diddy could not be contacted. The outlet, uh, the outing comes just weeks after one of Diddy's accusers sexual assault lawsuit was ordered to reveal her identity. The rapper and music mogul has been fighting various legal battles, including one against an un unnamed woman who claimed uh, that her and her two friends were sexually assaulted when she was 17. That would make them minors. While the woman's identity has not been revealed in the lawsuit, the judge has ruled that she's no longer able to stay anonymous. The suit proceeds. Diddy has filed a motion to have the woman's case thrown out. The accuser, the fourth woman to accuse Diddy of sexual assault in succession last year. So four women, at least. Uh, this is really shocking and astonishing uh, uh, update here. Th I mean, th this is obviously ripping through the internet. You can see here TMZ outside of the house. Uh, in This one is in LA, and you can see that they have uh, helicopters flying over Diddy's L.A. mansion and the streets packed with cops and blocked off by massive trucks. Uh, this is just nuts. Sources say that Diddy's Miami home at Star Island, uh, Beverly Hills property, raided by the feds, connection with sex trafficking investigations. So this is like sex trafficking would be much bigger than just a few people making allegations against the rapper. This is a this is must this has got to be much more sprawling and much more organized than just a, a few one off lawsuits. Although four people suing him at the exact same time, uh, yeah, these people are taking it seriously. Look at this guy being brought out in handcuffs. Uh, as far as we know, none of these are the actual rapper himself. More footage of the raid. You can see the people actually getting dragged out in handcuffs from the home. And they are serious, ladies and gentlemen, serious. Goodness gracious. Candace Owens saying the feds are currently raiding Diddy's home. They already knew what he was up to, but he is going to be the fall guy so they can protect the people at the top of the ring, says Candace. They are raiding his house to hide evidence, not to find it. That's how it works. Well, this is exactly what they did with, exactly what they did with Jeffrey Epstein. They raided Jeffrey Epstein's island. Did you ever see any of those documents? Did you ever see anything from Jeffrey Epstein's island? The feds were on that like bees on honey. I think they're raiding it to cover it up, much like Epstein, says Owen Schroyer. That's exactly right. The only the only reason they're raiding it is to protect their elitist buddies who were involved. Man. So, so DHS has confirmed that they are doing this, and the links to sex trafficking, assault, and rape are uh, uh, allegedly the charges. But is this something that is a much larger problem? And is this something that is 
part of a much larger sex ring? Is, uh, is Diddy the key to a much larger sex trafficking ring? Let's have a listen, ladies and gentlemen, to some of the commentary on CNN about this. The extent that there are multiple raids, at least we know in Miami and in California, it would suggest that there would be alleged federal offenses that would have been engaged in. There would be alleged interstate activity uh, at this point limited to these areas, but we don't know. Interstate activity and federal offenses is what they're going after Diddy for because they're using federal agents. So Sean Diddy Combs, home uh, raided, people are being dragged out in the sex traffic probe. Multiple people were seen on camera being taken out of the home in Los Angeles in handcuffs. It's unclear if Diddy was present at any of the homes. Now, was this all able to be predicted? This is what we find unbelievably fascinating. So Cat Williams has been doing sort of the podcast rounds and spilling tea like crazy. Cat Williams said the big D deviants are going to catch hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you're Diddy or whoever, all lies will be exposed. Uh, holy smokes. Well, what did Cat Williams know? Let's have a listen. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big deviance is all catching hell in 2024 it's up for all of them it don't matter if you diddy or whoever you is tg jakes any of them the every all lies will be exposed that's all and and, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way the truth is the light i need to have no one of these amen amen Gee. uh okay so cat williams totally called it in the same interview, Cat Williams accused Diddy of sexual assault on himself, saying that he needed to stay away from him, and he knew exactly what Diddy was doing in the in the the corners by you know uh, out of sight, is what he says, and that he had to effectively stay away from Diddy be because otherwise he'd be a victim. What does he mean by that? Well, I look forward to more answers, please. Of course, uh, the Trump curse is real. Remember that Sean Puff Daddy Combs was saying that men like Trump need to be banished in 2020. Isn't that interesting how that always works out? Men like Trump need to be banished. Huh. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can say what you want about Biden. I, I can't say I love to pick either, but hey, we got to get him in office mm -hmm. and then we got to hold him accountable. Got it. So white men like Trump need to be banned. What about guys like you? What about guys like Jeffrey Epstein? Did he officially endorse Joe Biden launches his own political party? Oh, great. Okay. So he endorsed Joe Biden. Uh, Antonio Brown saying uh, the pieces are all aligning. No diddy. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder that White men like Trump need to be banished, says the guy who's having multiple properties raided in a multi-state federal sex ring sting operation. Okay, got it. Trump curse is totally and completely real. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reporting uh, from the local station in LA of what is exactly happening right now with uh, proprietary helicopter footage of the raid uh, on Diddy's house again f around and find out gives you chills quite frankly let all of these monsters all of these monsters everything they've ever done let it all come to light we can handle it tell us tell us we can handle it it all needs to come out it uh, does it does it's time ladies and gentlemen the truth shall set you free Holmes, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, 
less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates. And as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home at the time of the raid.